Friday, I'm going to choose one person who's bought a postcard and I'm going to give them this car. Right, the winner of the BMW. Are you ready for this? Genuinely, on the third attempt, it's not going to Massachusetts. It's not going to someone who's bought Lockdown Monopoly. It's going to Craig Musker. Craig, you're number 239. Craig Musker from Newport. You've won the car. The car is yours. Yeah. Craig. Hello. How you doing, Craig? <laughs> what are you, uh... Yeah, I'm good. What? What are you up to? I'm watching you live on Facebook. <laughs> You're watching me live on Facebook? Amazing. You, uh, you just want a car? I don't believe it. Now here we are. Back where it all began. There's the car. I've been struggling to convince people that this car is real, but this car is, uh, <laughs> this car is very much real. You believe it? I believe it now I've seen it. You've been in it. So, um, that's your 7 Series. Thank you very much. How do you feel? Um, speechless, actually. No, no, these things don't happen to me. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, at just the right time. Yeah. yeah so, so how, how come you suddenly need a car then? Um, I recently moved house. Yeah. And uh, I, I sold the car that I had on finance because I'm working from home. Yeah. And there's, there's no sight of, of going back into the office anytime soon. So yeah. what's the point in paying finance on a car that's sat on yeah. the drive? Yeah. But of course, still need to do the essential shopping and yeah. school runs and what have you. So uh, yeah, so yeah, this will be something interesting to drive around in for for a few months. Yeah, good stuff. Well, um, like I said, I, I had so many people approach me and say, "I will give you a bribe. I'll give you five hundred pounds. I'll give you a thousand pounds." There were some really funny offers that came in. So all you people that have messaged me with offers, which have been hilarious, I've enjoyed pretending to be a Tory MP for a little while and entertaining the idea that I might take a massive bribe to arrange something for you. It's not going to happen, all right? The postcards are selling and I'm going to give the postcards away honestly, with integrity and with truth. But Craig bought a postcard and here we are, what, 48 hours later? Yeah. Something like that? And um, he's going to be driving this car home. So there we go, the Jeff buys cars, £10 BMW poetry postcard promotional giveaway has happened. Quite a quick turnaround and um, she's all yours. Yeah, but talking of bribes, yeah? um, I believe... That oh, <laughs> that's what we agreed. That was what we agreed. There we go, one postcard, <laughs> one orangina. That's all it took. I'll show you around the car and then she's all yours to, to take home. Thank it does need much. a clean. And um, <laughs> it does need a clean. But that's the thing, like I was genuinely using yeah. using the car. This isn't just, you know, I'm not some raffle company that's got three cars in a warehouse that are all in storage because someone else is paying the storage because the cars don't belong to them. These are just my cars that I'm doing for the channel. Just genuine Jeff buys cars, cars. So there's another one coming. I've, um, I, I, you know what it is actually, I've told you, but no one else knows. I'll, I'll keep quiet. Yeah, so um, that's quite exciting. I might even buy another ticket. No. Right, cars are yours. Thank you very much, Craig. Thank you. No worries. I'm wearing a very appropriate t-shirt for today. <laughs> sort of uh, sums everything up, doesn't it? Soft and, and wafty. Soft and wafty. Uh, a bit more relaxed. Perfect winter car, soft yep. and wafty. Brilliant. Well, your guys are waiting to uh, to follow you home, so I'll, uh, I'll uh, head off home. I've got an uh, afternoon of drinking Orangina, buying cars online. I don't think there's anything to tell you that I haven't told you already. The stereo is pretty good. The heating is pretty good. The handbrake doesn't work. <laughs> um, the lights are questionable, but the headlights do work, so that's fine. Uh, but that's it. Yeah. Okay. Wicked. Thank Brave. You. Thank you very much for uh, being involved in the project, and maybe we'll and, see you again. Uh, and good luck with the rest of the project. Thank you. I'm off. Cheers. There he goes. Cheers, Craig. £10 BMW. Come. Right then, I guess uh, on to the next one. And um, that's arriving on Wednesday. Thank you for watching. More videos coming soon. To be fair, it's not too bad. Obviously, he's got the 750i badge included. Um, just all this shit to sort out. So where's he hiding? It's a nice van. Come on, I want paying. Where's, where is he? Anyone know where Jeff went? What are you doing in there? Hmm? What are you doing in there? I'm in the office. Office? Yeah. It's a BMW. Oh, this is an office, mate. I'm not at the stage yet where I can afford to rent the premises. 
but if anything this is more comfortable cheaper and just easier to do so what i'll do is i'll just drive it to a nice place in the morning set myself up got everything i need beautifully comfortable good stereo happy days buenos dias me bikinis edites zip wrap pirate points 10 organization points zero financial points zero I've had to bribe the children with Lego from Argos because it's quite late on a school night and I've got to take them out to go and fetch the walkie-talkies for the big day that we've got planned tomorrow. Organisation skills, zero. Fun for the kids, ten. Lego points, ten. What Lego are you having, kids? Iron Man! It's like, uh, it's like the green BMW versus the red one. This is the red one. This is the green one, and this is a superior example. But this one's a bit of fun. Nothing worse than your head gas can go when you're in the middle of a car wash. You know, even if I got in today and the weather was crap, it's so comfortable and just easy. It's just an easy car to own. What do I do? I've got to sell one of them. I can't keep them both. You dickhead. I could replace the Astra very easily because they're quite widely available. I don't think I'm going to be able to get another 728 at this sort of money because like the E30 and all the other BMWs, these are going to start to climb. So buy one now because otherwise I'll beat you to the next one if I sell this. But if I keep this, it might throw up a massive bill in a few weeks time because that's a risk as well. But then again, I should have kept the green one because it was a better car and I liked it more. It was a better color, it had better wheels. But I like this one because of the journey that we've been on together. Collecting this car was hilarious. Driving this car home, I was belly laughing pretty much the entire drive because the car made me laugh. There's something special in that. It's like it's my mate. We've bonded. I've adopted a goldfish. And I can't just give it to someone else because it's my mate. Isn't it, Goldie? But then right now in the Astra, I'd have the roof off. So it's all well and good waxing lyrical about how good the 7 Series is, the roof. What if I had this turned into a convertible? Not a convert. Ah, oh, got it. Not a convertible like a full convertible. A Targa. What if this whole panel down the middle was taken out like, um, wasn't there a Bentley? There was a Bentley, maybe an Arnage, and they did that and they turned it into a Targa. What was it called? I'll put a picture of it on this video. That's my dream car. That'd work. It's, we are not messing around, but we are stuck at a red light. I like my little Astra. It's been good to me. It helped me through lockdown, that car did. Lockdown wasn't easy for a number of reasons. Financially, initially, and then that sort of got itself a little bit better afterwards when I got some more work. But mentally and emotionally, um, this whole lockdown thing, it's been a load of shite. You know, it's knocked people about. And yeah, there were evenings when they were saying, don't go out, don't go anywhere, stay in your house. I popped out to get some milk the one night. I came back four hours later. I got lost. I got lost down near the fucking Seven Estuary down near Bristol. Driving round with the roof off, listening to Bruce Springsteen all night. Got back and wife and nearly called the police. Look at that. That's a sunrise, that is. Um, I'm going to keep this one. Sorry. I know this is meant to be Jeff buys cars and sells them and makes a profit. But I really like this car. So I'm going to roll the Astra convertible Bertone that I love into the Jeff buys cars project instead. And I'm going to sell that one. And I'm going to keep this one. Fucking weather in this country. Why do I live in England? I should have moved to California. Stafford. Go yeah, mate, we're going to Keel. We're going to Keel. You can get Hot Wheels there and flat caps. Oh. Look at that. What a beast. And the world's worst parking. You're not even in a space. I haven't even tried. Oh yes. She's an absolute beaut. Look at that. What a fine, fine piece of German engineering. Typical BMW driver. What a shocker. Look at that. Thankfully, it's pissing it down. There's no one here, so it don't matter. Way, Keel Services. We're at Keel again. 
a week later, it's not even a week, is it? Six days, six days, and I'm back here in a completely different car that's exactly the same. I guess they, uh, guess they don't replenish them on a weekly basis, and I've already raided this pile once. So, uh, negatory, negatory. I've had all the good ones, I know. Bought them all, bought them all last Thursday. I'll have to come back here again. Look at that, Keel Services, knob and switch review. That's a proper knob, isn't it? Are those even legal anymore? Can you put those on? I reckon I have one of them on the 7 Series. Yes, that's a knob.